cash app by cutting off his finger. Investigators tell us Audrey Miller and Tiffany Taylor Gray viciously attacked the man inside his Northwest DC apartment back in April, then cut off the man's thumb, stole his phone and cleaned up the crime scene. News Force Paul Wagner walks us through this disturbing case. In a 49 page affidavit filed in DC Superior Court, investigators laid out a gruesome and diabolical scheme the woman on the left, listed as suspect number one, police say, is 19-year-old Audrey Miller. 19. The woman on the right, listed as suspect number two, is 22-year-old Tiffany Taylor Gray. According to the court affidavit, Gray and the victim, Fazel Teclamarium, knew each other. The affidavit says one witness told police... Fazel Teclamarium, that's a, um Ethiopian dude. The I thought court affidavit, these Gray and the victim, Fazel... Huh? I thought these were going to be gliders because, like, it took one more David step Gray, other than just taking the money. There was, like, a step B involved in it. So I'm like, all right, this got to be gliders. The victim, Fazel Teclamarium, knew each other. The affidavit says one witness told police the 53-year-old was her sugar daddy. You had a sugar daddy and you fucked it up. You got greedy. She wanted his thumb. Not even, not even greedy, just vicious. Cause they don't respect sugar daddy. They look at sugar daddies like, you know what I'm saying? Like you're a sucker. You know what I'm saying? You're you're a sucker. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? You don't deserve life. You know what I mean? They're there you're to be milk. Yeah, yeah. You're you you're um you're a point you're less than you. Yeah, you're less than human because the guy she likes is a thug. The guy she loves is is a, is a you know reprobate, you know savage son man. And you're not even just like the manager of the deli department at the at the grocery store. You're like you're way... below. <laughs> you know thug probably put her up to it. I'm telling you. According to the court affidavit, Gray and the victim, Fazel Teclamarium, knew each other. The affidavit says one witness told police the 53-year-old was her sugar daddy. In these two photos, police say suspect number one, Audrey Miller, and Teclamarium are seen together entering his apartment on April 1st. D.C. police believe Fossil Tackle Merriam had been dead inside his third floor apartment here on Peabody Street Northwest for about four days before his body was discovered. According to a court affidavit filed in the case, he had suffered blunt force trauma to the head. He'd been stabbed and his right thumb had been cut off. A witness told police that the thumb was used to gain access to a cash app and to buy liquor and drugs. Included in the court affidavit, investigators attached numerous photos from surveillance cameras mounted outside two entrances to the building, as well as the foyer and the hallway leading to the victim's apartment. Police say two men, one they have identified but not charged, were seen with the two women coming and going from the building over several days. Investigators say the suspects used the victim's key fob to get into the building and were seen carrying items out of the apartment. There was also evidence suggesting cleaning agents had been used to conceal or eliminate evidence. Police say they got a couple of breaks in the case. Last year, Teclamarium filed a complaint with D.C. police claiming suspect number two, Tiffany Taylor Gray, had taken his phone and used it to steal $1,800 from his cash app. Break number two came when investigators learned Teclamarium's cell phone last pinged from a tower in College Park not far from where Gray rented an apartment. A law enforcement source familiar with the investigation says the claim Teclamarium was Gray's sugar daddy has so far not been verified. Investigators <clears throat> believe the victim's severed thumb was used to access his phone. To date, investigators have not found the victim's thumb or the electronics stolen from his home. Audrey Miller is locked up in the D.C. jail and is waiting a preliminary hearing. Gray is in custody in Prince George's County, where she was arrested last week. In the district, Paul Wagner, News 4. News 4 has so far been unable to reach any of the victim's family members. He don't need his thumb. He already did. Dallas.